Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here, Apple iPad Pro, Apple event April 2021, please subscribe followed by the bell you can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description, Apple April event sometime this month, which is definitely weird since Apple usually has an event in March that obviously didn't happen, even though so many people were so sure that we have one on March 23rd and eyebrows were shaved because of it, but thankfully more and more puzzle pieces are coming. So we're now almost 100% sure that we're getting an Apple April event. So I will go through all of the list and rumors that discuss new Apple products and let you know which ones you should be expecting and which ones you shouldn't. The first thing I want to talk about are the major points of evidence for why we're getting an April event and it all coincides with the new 2021 iPad Pro, which didn't end up shipping in March. Like many expected it to a couple months back in January, we got some leaked dimensions and files for the iPad Pro which shows that this can be released very soon since this type of stuff doesn't leak unless a product is almost ready to go, then a month later marketer, who is an incredibly reliable leaker, said that the iPad Pro is going to be as powerful as the M1 Mac, and this totally makes sense since we're expecting the iPad Pro to get the A14 chip with a CPU, course an 8 graphics course in just a couple of weeks ago 9 to 5 Mac discovered mentions of the a 14x chip with an iOS 14.5 beta code, and this usually only happens right before product is released, for example, beta code mentioning the new M1 Mac leaks, just a couple weeks before Apple officially announced them in November of last year, and since 14.5 is expected to be released sometime within the next month, it perfectly matches up to the iPad Pro releasing at an April event. And to make it even better 9 to 5 Mac found that the A14 chip is based on the ETH-103, which is the codename for the M1, so that the chips will likely be very similar, and going even further Digit Times reported that volume shipments of the new iPad Pro will begin in the second half of 2021, which we are in now we then got a bombshell leak from Marker Men claiming that the new iPad Pro will come with a mini LED display on the 12.9 inch model, only upgraded cameras the A14X chip, a USB-C ports with Thunderbolt functionality, and he said that it should be coming in April, and he's one of the most reliable. Leakers you can basically bake on this. Some of those features like the A14X chip Thunderbolt port, and the mini LED display are a huge deal, so Apple will absolutely want to show it off during an event. So when April event is extremely likely to happen and John Prosser is also baking on April for the event date and finally here's one more, big piece of evidence from Weinberg. Somehow he got a hold of a sticker showing that a new unreleased accessory is coming soon, which supports the first, second and third generation, 11-inch iPad Pro and the thing is the third gen model doesn't exist yet, is the one that we're expecting later this month, and S Pen mentioned that the new iPad Pro is coming in mid-April, so there's more confirmation now, if you're wondering which accessory this could end up being well I did some research, and I think I know what to expect, I found the box of the iPad Pro Magic Keyboard case, and the sticker looks almost identical from the format to the way out in the various languages so this accessory is almost certainly an official Apple product and I personally believe that it's a new second generation magic keyboard case for a couple of different reasons first off we've been hearing rumors that it should be coming alongside the new iPad Pro which was supposed to be released at the March of events that never happened so April makes sense for a release date and if you're wondering how Apple could possibly upgrade the magic keyboard they actually applied for a patent specifically for a new Magic Keyboard case almost a year ago, the images show a slide in the hinge the Apple Pencil to and apparently, it will also wirelessly charge, the Apple Pencil at the same time making it the perfect solution now getting into the next image shows a completely new hinge system essentially allowing you to raise the iPad Pro, much higher if you like to or even use it in a new clipboard, mode which will finally solve the problem people have with the other Magic Keyboard, where you couldn't lay down in the iPad Pro to write and draw so in my opinion, if we're getting a new iPad Pro this month then we're for sure getting a new Magic Keyboard case alongside it. Now if you put all of the puzzle pieces together with the crazy powerful A14X chip as well as the new 5G support, there we're also expecting it makes a lot of sense for the iPad Pro to finally support professional Mac apps, like Final Cut Logic and Xcode, which has been rumored for some time now by John Prosser. 
so if announced this is probably to come either sometime this month or later at Apple's WWDC event in June, and now with the iPad Pro and Magic Keyboard out of the way let's move on to another product we're expecting to come at this event, and that's of course the new AirTag which have been rumored for a very long time, they're basically going to be small little trackers that you can buy, activate, and place, onto or into anything you'd like to track within, the Find My app so that way you can keep track your keys, your backpack, or anything else that you can think of, insistently coming with the ultra-wideband ship built in. You'll be able to open up an augmented reality view in your Find My app and literally see your air tag through objects like inside of your couch just using your iPhone the battery life can be excellent at least a full year or two and the best part is that, air tag will probably, have wireless charging since we've seen so many leaks and rumors pointing to that feature coming in the way it's gonna work is incredibly simple, you just put the air tag on the back of your iPhone 12 or newer for half an hour, and then it's fully charged because I don't know if you know this or not but the latest iPhone 12 secretly supports reverse wireless charging for accessories. Apple never mentioned this because they probably were going to release the air tag alongside the new iPhone for the air tag, were of course delayed over and over again now, on top of that recent leaks and rumors are pointing to it being smaller than expected just a bit larger than 1 over 4 but around 6 millimeters thick, and according to Max Weinberg the retail for around $39 each, but on the flagship, we did have some earlier rumors from the that pointed to them having two different sizes, so it can be interesting to see how this plays out, but either way expect AirTag at Apple's April event later this month now. Let's move on to the one product that's probably coming at the April event, but there is a chance that it won't for a couple of different reasons. I'm talking about the rumored 24-inch fully redesigned Apple Silicon iMac, last month John Prosser treated that the iMac is ready to launch at any time and on top of that a new Apple Silicon iMac was leaked, an Xcode crash log pointing to Apple already testing out the model on the latest macOS software, and to add even more evidence John revealed that the new iMac will be coming in some brand new colors, and coincidentally almost all of those colors perfectly match up to the new Apple Spring colors it also revealed for some new Apple cases, and according to Max Weinberg we should be expecting some new seasonal Apple Watch bands probably with the same Spring colors. A tweet new colorful Apple Watch bands with the crazy thing, is that the tweet was actually a reply to a question about the new iMac so he agrees with that as well, so it's all starting to look like. Apple could have a spring color themed events to reveal the new, that is all for now guys. Let me know your thought in the comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out.